Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Today, normal, normal character run stuff. Should play as Zazel, but I just did the challenge with Eve. Let, let's just play Samson, man. So Samson is a slightly better base Isaac. Bloody Lust isn't very good, um, but at least it does something if I do get hit. So that's that's always a thing. Okay, okay, this is good. Gives me five bombs, lets me get this tinted rock. Okay, I need to find a way to use the red heart so that I can gain some damage this floor. We're gonna try and make Bloody Lust as useful as it can be. It lasts the whole floor and activates when you take damage now, by the way. So it's a relatively ineffective item, in my opinion. Because the better you're doing, the worse it is. And I mean, yeah, you're doing better, but it'd be better if the item were an advantage of any sort. Get another heart to use. Man, too much stuff going on. Alright, just... Let's just do that. So that I can backtrack for my stuff. Because ideally, I'm not getting hit again for the rest of the floor. That would be best. And then you go back down to normal damage on the next floor, and you're just like at that much more of a disadvantage, because you got used to the higher damage and all that, and you have to find another way to take damage. It's just... I think it's bad. Oh well. Ooh. I see. Ah. Yeah, no. I'm not gonna take that much damage. It's just not even worth the time for the reward, because on this floor, not even useful. I don't need damage. Don't even need the... the the extra that I already got. I just used it to get in the mindset of, hey, let's make Bloody Lust useful, if we can. I can see forever, that's good. Are you a wizard? That's bad. So now's the time to go exploring to find the secret room, which has some money in it. And I can go to the shop. Hive mind would be nice. If I could get that. Alright, let's do it. I hate that I'm backtracking on how much uh, I have in the donation machine, though. I really don't like that. I need to make progress on that. That's what I really need to do. It's okay. I'll get there eventually. But I definitely want to get to 999 before I even think about the Lost. Because the stopwatch is pretty much broken in every way and makes the run not as sucky. One of the best things you can get on a Lost run. Alright. Health up and another soul heart, and away we go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, curse room gets me a damage up, ultimately. So we got that happening. Got a black heart out of it. I need a key. I hope you understand and can help me out, game. I really need a key. Quite badly. But I like all these soul hearts. Those are good. And that's another thing. Like, if you get uh, Dark Bum, for example, you can use all the extra soul hearts and stuff that you can get to gain damage. But who knows how that'll go. I'm getting pretty lucky with Tinted Rocks, which will help me unlock the small rock, of course. I like that. And I've had no shortage of bombs, nicely enough. 
There's my key so I can go to the item room, see what's hanging out. I don't know which one that is. Oh well, Virgo, I feel refreshed and protected. Okay, so that's a chance to give me invincibility when I get hit. I don't know how long it lasts, and I don't know what uh, the refreshed thing does. And protected. I Well, I know what the protected one is. I don't know what the refreshed one is. Might give me full health or something. If I'm missing any. That would make sense. Dang it. I don't know what the chance for invincibility is either. Hmm, yes. Calm down. That was good movement, at least at the end there, right before I nearly got hit. Timed it quite well. I like how I got them both to one hit before killing either. Spears and shot speed up. Fine with me. Alright, this... Okay. Oh, cool. Didn't know for sure that, that would work. And that's a good pill. Uh, well, I'm good to go. I don't think I need to do the boss rush, actually. Pretty sure I did that. I think that was one of the stars. Or one of the... It was the star. I think it was there. On my progress thing. But in the event that it's good, I would still be interested. You know, if it has a really fantastic item in it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So once again, I need to find a way to take damage to gain damage. Oh, could have taken a half heart right there. And that's the thing. Like, now my damage is back to not good, and I'm back to square one. So it's like, yeah, I guess I came out ahead ultimately. I did gain damage for those floors, but I'd love to have damage overall. Because I didn't need it on those floors. Soon I'm going to need it, and soon I'm actually going to start taking damage. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. Tears up, yeah. Cool with me. I have really high shot speed, but that doesn't matter very much. It doesn't really do much in this game. And there are at least a couple of shot speed downs. Not many, but a couple. Okay, Eternal Heart's good. Ah, uh, knockback not being an evil thing. It's very present. It's just not a big deal, because there's not much of it even with high shot speed. And butt Penny, I don't actually like it. Pretty annoying. Balls of Steel, well, lost two soul hearts there, but I had no way of knowing, so next time I see that pill, I'll know. So that's what happens every time I pick up a penny, thanks to that trinket. I assume it poisons things, but I don't know. I never really end up picking up pennies when I'm near things. Alright, so Pestilence is pretty aggressive now. Shoots a lot of bombs, like, right at you. Much more directly and... painfully. Quickly as well. I would have appreciated you killing your buddies a little more. And even when you uh, have Pestilence Headless, it still aims at you, because it's just really good at its job. Got a heat sensor, something like that. We'll get a cube of meat or a ball of bandages here, and that's great. Because both of those do lots and lots of damage. Remember, I do have uh, improved flies and spiders from Hive Mind, so I'm hoping to find something that'll spawn those for me. A 
all the bandages, and uh, I'm happy to go. Hey. Oh, I absolutely don't want to kill them with my ball of bandages, that's for sure. Be nice to get some damage ups. Looking for it. I'm looking forward to it when it finally does happen. That's not the explodey one. Art can't really make use of that. Didn't have enough money for an arcade, and this... Okay, this is an arcade level, like where that's possible. But I didn't have enough money, since I think it's the same. Push pin, chance to fire a spectral and piercing tier. That's cool. Yeah, there it was. Much easier to pick out now, too. Suddenly luck, apparently. That's weird. So now, you know, I'm getting rewarded for making mistakes, and that's all well and good. But I'd rather not make those mistakes. I can look on the bright side that they help me. And it's not proportional to how much damage you take, I don't think. It's proportional to that you took damage at all. So, that works. You know, stuff's getting done. Okay, and hey, we recovered. Not that I could expect to. The soul hearts are non-replenishable in the same direct way. They're less common and more valuable. But we're making it work. Okay, Mom's Perfume, Fear Shot. I'll have a discolored tear every so often that will fear enemies if it hits them. And that's good. And even greater if it coincides with one of the spectral piercing shots and I hit multiple enemies, for example. And that's the life. That sucks. Okay. Making sure to get my ball of bandages in there doing work. Okay, it took a bunch of damage that I didn't want to take, but it happens. Evil up. Three bomb drops. Black heart. Angel room with the relic. So every five rooms I'll get a soul heart drop. Uh, I'll do it. All right. And then sometimes I'll just, eh, I don't need to use any more bombs. So this will get me a key piece. This key piece can be used with another key piece in order to fight Mega Satan. But I won't get there because I want to beat the cathedral here. So it won't matter. But just in case something goes horribly right with uh, the way the build turns out, I'll just I'll keep the possibility. The fight didn't hurt me. It wasn't hard. And I have to beat Mega Satan a single time eventually. Maybe this is that run. I can work with that. Oh, hello, sir. I didn't think it was there. Uh, Bob's brain is not happening. I just don't like that item. It hurts me far more often than it helps me. That's just kind of what it does. So I'll go visit the curse room. For sure. The show as well. Look at this angry poop. Look at how mad that poop was. Oh, hello. Didn't know you were coming to hang out. Oh, I... Come on. 
So I've gained a bunch of damage for this. I didn't really lose much. This is what I'm talking about. Gotta maximize it, but I don't like it. So I'm bound to take damage eventually as the <laughs> floor continues to. But thanks to the relic, I really don't need to care. So like, that's a good synergy I've got going. That's nice. All right, I need to look for tinted rocks in here. Looks like no. I don't have enough money for the shop. And... Uh, what was I even looking for? I was looking to see if there was another locked room. There wasn't. GG. Petrified poop, that's good. A larger drop rate from poops. Not sure about fires. Maybe. Good pill. I'm gonna go look for the item room first. Oh, whatever, I don't care. I'll get it back on the way back. I probably shouldn't even want it, because it's not like I'm shooting very many poops and fires. Someone else is up there. Thanks for hanging out. And I mean, this is helpful. The piercing is good. I should probably keep it. Oh, that hit me through my orbital, it seemed. How inconvenient. Oh, but what perfect timing. Good item. It's not actually mass fear, it's mass freezing. And it doesn't last as long as it's supposed to, because the coloring is still on the enemies for them being frozen, but then they start moving, and it's like, well, that's uh, unfortunate now, isn't it? So that's going to pick up, there we go, 1545, oh, don't know how to dodge that attack because, you know, it just kind of decides whether or not it hits you by how it feels at the moment. Because it's random. But we did it, we beat that boss, that speed and shot speed up. Man, my tears are traveling fast. Should have used the bra, not sure why I didn't, but that's okay. And my damage is back to garbage. Gotta love it. Of course I'll see if this is a sweet dice room or something. Cause that could be fun. Everything moving faster. Like, it feels like things are traveling faster. No, but that's actually really nice. There's so many of these rooms that I just haven't seen. Take as much money as you can have. All right, great. Works for me. Found the item room, fantastic. Full heart, anemic. Uh, I can use this, gain some damage, head on my way. So when I get hit, I start tracking blood around and it does damage to enemies that walk on it, of course. Tinted rock. Ah, uh, yeah. Hit by it. God, so much silly stuff to do. Just for damage. But again, because of the relic, I think it's okay. Normally, I think it's a bit risky. And in a bad way. And I'm all for playing risky, don't get me wrong. Alright, let's do it. Isaac. 
What? There was nothing there yet, and it hit me. Pretty annoying. Alright, the all bandages was not was not there yet. Come on. The perfect cheese is about to complete. Beautiful. We didn't get a devil or angel room. Ooh, Ipecac. That could be fun. I wish I had a teleport. Screw it, though. I'm, I'm taking Ipecac. With super high shot speed, it's not actually a big deal because now it's not going to, like, travel over things so much. Because it just hits things. The shadow is what's important. This should go fine. Like, actually, this should just go fine. Alright. Died to something. That hit my... whatever. That just ignored the fact that it hit the, uh... The jigger. That is pretty lame. That was dumb of me. I don't know why they died early, but they did and I'm okay with it. Which wave to freeze? That's the real question at this point. It's not this wave. This wave's easy. Okay, I didn't know if I killed the little Steven section. Turned out I had, so that was what I needed to know. Alright. I'm not afraid of you. You're not the boss of me now. Stuff just dies to stuff. If a cack with a high rate of fire is interesting. Very interesting. That was close. Also, anemic damage is not, like, substantial. It exists, but it's not great. <sighs> Ooh, oh, this wave. This is the one to freeze. And then that's when they start being... Such is life. Didn't know there was an eternal heart, now I do. Cool, I just walked right into that. Okay, cool, you died. Best news would be getting some more soul hearts in here. Oh, well, goodbye, pin. I like that it spawns under them and doesn't break them like other things. That's actually awesome. There's the probably only one, yeah. No, no, I need you to do a thing for me. Oh, I accidentally got the eternal heart. Hopefully I don't lose it. Right, bloat died. Without killing the heart for me. I took it upon myself, as there was no other choice. <sighs> That's unfortunate. But as I keep getting hit, at least Ipecac keeps getting stronger, right? It'd be better if I were killing death right away. 
Hmm, yes, I love that. I like how I poisoned them, but, you know, since they're still invincible on spawn, could not, uh, could not kill them. Okay, that was kind of close and scary. Last wave. Uh, I'm gonna grab this real quick so I don't possibly lose the eternal heart itself. Oh, that was the different one. That's tricky to tell when you have anemic and are used to the whole floor being covered in blood. And you know, give the fact that the whole floor is covered in blood anyway. And I get jump. Eh, you know, I'll take it. Let's me jump. Over enemies, over gaps, over anything. And I got a soul heart. So I have a little bit of health. And then we're back to normal little Ipecac. It at least helps me move quickly. I didn't want to manage to hit you or anything. I'm just shooting at you for fun. God, my shot speed though, it's insane. Excuse me, sir. I guess I should blow all these up, because they could have health ups in them. To be fair. Taking damage is unfortunate. First room's too expensive at this point. Why would I even come in here? That doesn't even make sense of me. I did it though. Let's visit this away. Uh, okay. Well, I can just jump in here actually. Okay, well, that's cool. Oh, that's also cool. That tells me pretty much exactly where the boss is, interestingly enough. The reason for that is that the boss is almost always right next to the top secret room. That tells me the locations of the secret and top secret rooms, which is pretty nice. Secret room's too far away. I'm not gonna bother. There are no tinted rocks. Why am I bothering? Yeah, no tinted rocks. Oops. Oh, could have told you that was happening. Accidentally got the tinted rock? Works for me. I think this is worthwhile. Free boss kill. And we get to fight the angel statue again. Not really sure that this run is gonna be able to handle Joel, though. There we go. So it's not gonna matter that I, like whether or not I get anything out of this. So like, yeah, I'll get the other piece of the key and I'll have the full key, but I don't think that I can get through Shoal in order to get to uh, the dark room. And I don't think that this could handle Mega Satan. I got a Forgotten Horseman. That's nice, isn't it? And Dad's Key. And Challenge 19. All right, then. I apparently hadn't done that at all yet, so at least that helps. All right, looks like this way is a good choice. Just use a normal bomb.
It flew over the wall? Okay, so that's just not a room. That's all I needed to know for sure. Good. See, high shot speed with Ipecac isn't run ending anymore, obviously. Oops, that was stupid. And the damage ups really are not important. Because Ipecac. It'd be nice if I got Mr. Mega, though. Check it out. I'm interested. I love that it just flies out of the wall. Like, that's hilarious to me. No, thank you. Cool. And sweet. And what are you? Unknown. Paralysis, no biggie. And... Oh, that sucks. Because that's not damage. That's just... Sucks to be you. So I don't gain damage for that. And I just happened to lose some health. Or did I gain damage? I actually can't tell. Okay, apparently the game wants to use all my keys. Four rerolls, pickups. I believe. Yeah, because there weren't. There was a pill in there, never mind. Yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe four rerolls the items. Either way, does not really matter. Okay, I can play this. Or not. Cool with me then. Hmm. This room seems relatively unpleasant. Tinted rock, I see. Oops, well. Good thing I got two hearts out of the room that I lost two hearts in. <laughs> what an easy room to lose two hearts in. Pretty silly, but. That's fine. I like how that exploded over there and the thing died right next to me. Just shows its travel, how its travel works. Which is pretty cool. Straight past it. So yeah, I am taking this run to the cathedral. Even with the relic. And not to Mega Satan. I'll beat Mega Satan with a much more overpowered build. At a later date. Let's do it. it is because like I'm not kidding it is almost always that um, the boss and the top secret room are right next to each other approximately so if you know that you're going to the boss the top secret room you pretty much know you're going to the boss I could just bomb my way to Isaac, too. But I don't think that's necessary. Uh, is this gonna lead me downward? I don't even know, man. Yeah, okay, we're good. Shot speed makes it pretty tough to aim some of this. I angle way too much. It's pretty silly. Could just use the sun, but that's not necessary either. Oops. Ah, I'm leaving. Seems like a pretty high chance for invincibility from the sign that I got. That was close. Alright, this must be the right way. Has to be. Oh, weird. Worked out, though. 
Oops, was looking at the map. Cool, damaged myself. Oh, that was unfortunate. I want to get the negative to be able to activate before I use my sun card, of course. So the full health is worth something. Okay, so it's somewhere over here. Probably just to the left. Yeah, okay. Blue baby soul. Bounces around. Shoots spectral homing tears. Unless something has changed. Nope, <laughs> nothing has changed. for me. Yeah, I can get some use out of Bob's Rotten Head. Ow. I almost want a tank, but it's not worth it. I like the baby spawning system for the boss much more as well. All oh, right, I have a habit, don't I? Ah, oh, I messed up. This is okay though. This run is all but one. And there it is. Let's see what we got. This is just gonna be the same ending. Yeah, I mean we we know this already. It's fine. So I unlocked Bloody Lust for other characters, and that's all it took for the Polaroid. Beautiful. So now we have the choice between the Polaroid and the negative every time we beat mom. And uh that's pretty cool, so now that means we have to switch to hard mode. Which is not too cool, but at least, you know, I haven't done too much of everything. Besides Eden, apparently. Guess I got lucky a couple times. That is going to do it for today, though. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.